If an employee is adopting a child, he or she may be entitled to statutory adoption paternity pay, or SAPP. Sage 1 makes recording adoption pay simple by calculating the figures for you. Before recording SAPP in Sage 1, you can check your employee's eligibility by going to the HMRC website. If your employee is not eligible, you need to issue them with an OSPP1 form. This can be downloaded from HMRC's website. If your employee is eligible, you can record statutory adoption paternity pay in Sage 1 by going to the Summary screen, then clicking Process Pay Run. Click Next to confirm the pay date and go to the Record Absence screen. In the Record Absence screen, select the employee from the left, then click Record Absence and select Paternity Adoption from the drop-down list. To ensure the paternity pay calculates correctly, you need to enter some information specific to the adoption. First of all, enter the matching date. This is the date the employee has been matched with the child. Then select Yes in the Documentation Receive box if your employee has handed you an SC4 or SC5 form. You'll need to enter the placement date. This is the date the child is placed with the adoptive parents. You'll also need to enter the start and end dates of the adoption leave, which you need to agree with your employee before completing the adoption absence. However, you can amend the end date later on if anything changes. If you've just started processing your payroll in Sage 1, you may get a message stating the system does not have enough information to calculate the average weekly earnings, AWE, at this time. At this point, you need to calculate the employee's average weekly earnings and enter these manually into the program. If you need help with this, you can contact HMRC, who can offer guidelines on how the AWE is calculated. Once you've entered all the relevant information, click Save. Then, click Next. Sage 1 will automatically calculate how much statutory paternity adoption pay your employee is due to be paid, based on the information you've just entered. As the employer, you have the option to pay them an extra amount of money on top of the statutory amount so the employee comes out with the same pay they normally would. If you'd like to do this, adjust the figures in the Rate box accordingly. If not, you can remove these lines by clicking the cross on the left. Alternatively, just zero the rate completely. When you're happy your employee's pay looks correct, you can then complete the pay run. To reclaim the statutory adoption pay, you'll need to run your P32 and submit an EPS. Sage 1 will automatically calculate how much you can reclaim from HMRC and inform them that you're reclaiming that amount. When your employee returns from adoption leave, do not delete the absence from the Record Absences screen. This can cause Sage 1 to correct their next pay, as if the employee needs to repay the statutory adoption pay. Recording adoption paternity pay in Sage 1 means you can sleep easy knowing your employee's pay is taken care of.